you don't want to be the woman, take a man back just to be able to do the nanny nanny boo boo to the other female. Okay, welcome back goes. to the show. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Yes, we have this cup again. So that must mean your girl like it. If you are not familiar with me, I am the Jersey Girl for Life, and this is my coffee chat so it's coffee chat with jersey this is the first celebrity up on my roster nelly and ashanti let's take a sip mm. girl we're not making fun but we have to talk about how do you feel about spinning the block <clears throat> if you're not familiar with what spinning the block is, girl, it's not standing up and turning round and round. He was your man for a certain amount of time. Things didn't work out. You walked away for a certain amount of time. He did as well, but you guys came back together. You gave it another go. For our cousins that's not aware of Ashanti and Nelly. They went together, guys, years ago, like about approximately 10 years ago, this R&B diva and this rap star got together. They were young. They're now both in their 40s, Ashanti being 43 and Nelly being 49. So it's safe to say they were in their early 30s, right? 20s into 30s. They broke up. Never gave us an explanation. No one ever talked bad about the other. All we ever saw was Nelly with Miss Jackson. Okay? Miss Jackson, beautiful woman. Um, if people people got into their comparing, of course, it was, oh, she could never be a shanty. Um, I'm not accepting this relationship if it's not Ashanti. Of course, you had your other men. Oh, it was an upgrade. Everybody had their opinion. Over here, we love Ashanti. I didn't know much about Miss Jackson. Still really don't other than who her exes are. And she has a little shoe thing that's good for the girlies that rock the hills, right? Here we come up on. 2021 and what's going on y'all a versus comes about versus is when they take you know like some of the all-time um our favorite artists and they play hit for hit and it's supposed to be about bringing out their best music so a versus takes place I think Fat Joe, I want to say, which is Ashanti's darn near father. Okay, but that's her bestie. That's her label mate or whatever. Um, he announces that there's going to be a versus. And he says, now I'm going off of what he's already put out there publicly. He makes a public announcement. They're going to be doing this versus or whatever performance something to that effect and he said within three minutes he got a call from nelly hey is she going to be there man you know i'm not at liberty to be talking about this telling you this and nothing like that feed, giving feedback or my sis listen if you need me there, I'm there. Y'all need performance, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm coming, I'm coming. Nelly's coming. Boom, this thing takes place. Hit the stage. Listen, Ashanti's on this side of the uh, stage. Nelly's on this side. Um, I forgot exactly who was the performer. I'll pull it up and, of course, you know, show y'all. Performance is going on. Nelly then forgot all about the performance and that this thing is being televised. We see him pop his little happy behind right on across the stage. I'm talking about beeline. And no, uh, it was like somebody threw him the ball, right? The, the football, and he was like, boom, boom, boom. 
Everybody out my way. Yeah, what's up? What's up? What's up? I'm trying to get to her. He comes over to the princess. Give her that warm embrace. At this time, allegedly, Ashanti is in a relationship with whoever. We don't know. We never even care, right? He don't matter no more because Nelly wants to see, right? We got to see what's going on with you two. He gives her this embrace. Cameras are on them now, okay? This is being picked up by other cameras. Everybody is like this. He even forgot about this stuff being televised. Um, Ashanti, of course, almost got to give him a little bit of a church hug because remember, my girl is kicking it with somebody else, allegedly, right? She said she was. She wasn't available. All right, he speaks to her other little op who can't get over her, right? We know who he is. Um, he even gave him a little dab or whatever. So, boom, after all this is done, the headlines hit. Nelly and Ashanti has began to be seen everywhere together. Then Ashanti's birthday comes up, they're together. Nelly's birthday comes up, they're together. By then, they've sealed the deal. They rapping, singing, um, rapping and singing together. They on trips. He has been buying gifts. Um, they were in one club here in Atlanta. They rocking out, and Nelly is singing. And then apparently, Miss Jackson been over somewhere on her channel showing, hey, this is what you've been missing, doing her little advertisement. Word gets around. I guess that was supposed to bother this situation. In the middle of Nelly singing the song, um, Ashanti pops in and throws in, Okay, y'all know the word, right? Y'all know who she was talking to. It was so personal. Girl, it was so personal. that I've never seen somebody say, be like that. Okay, so here we are. They still together. Allegedly, Ashanti is pregnant. Carrying Nelly's child. They performed in Miami two nights ago. But yet, we see her looking a little fuller. She's rocking her little Balenciaga jersey dress. And um, she's looking a little thick, okay? Little face is cute and full. Little belly, she ain't never really had that kind of belly. Even if she get a little bit chubbed, she has kept that stomach snatch. She may get the, you know, chunky knees and thighs, but my girl always kept that belly snack. So, boom, you done told on yourself. But, are we happy for them? How many women, Vovolo is saying, or when you first heard about it, forget about where they are now, when you first heard about it, did you say, yo, she dumb as you know, ain't no way he could have came back to me. How many of y'all was with the rest of America rooting? Oh my God, I hope they make it. He has to marry her this time. Oh my God, they cannot let each other go. They got to make it work. And all the burden was put on Nelly. Nelly better get her a ring. At her birthday, he popped out with some, like a banging watch, all this jewelry, you know. Uh, I think she got a necklace, whatever. Everything except this, except the wedding ring, engagement ring. So let's talk about spinning the block. Have you ever spun the block? If you spun the block, what was the amount of time with that person prior to? Like, how long were you with them? Um, from And how long was it from the time you guys broke up to you guys reunited and spun the block? Did it end up working, or were you regretful? M Let me speak on me. Um, I don't believe in spinning the block. Have I done it to some extent? Yes. Um, reasons in place. Um, with one, it was just because I carried the person's last name, and you're always told, don't give up, don't give up. You gotta try. Um, this generation, 
runs away too fast. Y'all give up so fast, all of that. And you really, when you say, I do, you really don't want to say, I don't. So you keep trying, right? So that was one situation um, that I'm willing to speak about, right? But eventually, um, going back, trying to make that marriage work was an ultimate fail. And um, the same reason I had to leave the person ended up the same reason I had to leave them again. So I, it depends, in my opinion, why did the relationship end? How long was the time in between the lapse of being together? Um, and like back to one, how severe was the breakup? What was it about? And how nasty was the breakup? Did you break away peacefully like um, Anneli and Ashanti? We did not see them dogging each other out in the media. We saw our girl on vacation moving on, enjoying her life. You never knew if she had a new do or not. Um, Nelly, we knew, wow, he must be happy. That's somebody he knew before. He's in a relationship. They did their 10 years. Ultimately, allegedly, Miss Jackson left because of, uh, I think she realized Nelly was not interested in being married, right? So whatever that was, I guess all parties are content with what, what their decisions were. Um, in my, I don't regret it. There are certain things, if it takes place in a marriage especially, but in a relationship that's unforgivable. Infidelity is unforgivable for Jersey. Have I tried to forgive someone and still um, continue the relationship because the love is there? Yes. Um, ultimately, that was the wrong decision. You have it comes back down to the character of the person. If it is in their DNA not to be um, faithful, to honor anyone, to um, just honor a marriage, honor God, and the the vows that you took to this per to God and to this person, there's nothing I could do. I could put on all the makeup. I could get my skin perfect, have my hair done all the time, lose 20, 25 pounds, whatever. Throw on the rags, always smell good, clean the house, cook clean, have fun. We laugh until we can't laugh anymore. And the moment this person goes to work with whoever else they get along with out there, there's a work wife, okay? A husband and husband or work bay and work wife, they exist. Do y'all hear me? They exist. Do not be smiling and all that when these people are introducing you to people at work and you keep on, and the main one, he act like he don't like, Oh, her big head. So, a little nappy head girl. Watch the nappy head girl. <laughs> Watch the nappy head girl. And let me tell you another one. Watch the ones that be like, oh, that fat girl. Oh, that big old girl. Watch the fat girl, too. Do not get comfortable thinking everybody fits in a mold and men only cheat with skinny women. Men only cheat with women of your opposite complexion. Men only cheat with women that are um classy, uppity, or the little. They'll mess with the dirt bags. They'll mess with the ones who barely bathe until he come over and get ready to get involved. You know, you have the people have, they take baths when they're about to have sex. They'll mess with them and they won't even protect themselves, okay? Uh, they'll go and have a child on you. All these things happen. I have girlfriends. I've witnessed some things. Everything is in about my experience, but girl, I have aunts, okay? I have uncles. I have like uncles that have done things, aunts that's received things, you know? So I am 
speaking from a whole lot of experience and um uh, and, and and what do you call it uh, observation so what i'm saying is it okay to spin the block weigh your pros cons and uh the facts of why did you break up sometimes people broke break up and that is merely because they are truly, truly two immature individuals trying to make adult decisions. They're infatuated, never knew what it took to be committed or to really um, solidify a healthy relationship. And so they do little nit and pick and stupid things, but they're kind of forgivable. Some people don't like some people's ways, how they respond to things. Or you don't pay enough attention to me. Um, You don't give me enough compliments. I think you could talk that out. But when you get into infidelity or or um, you have to verify and fact check everything a person says because they're untrustworthy, um, their morale, you know how some things, I could almost tell you what my son will and will not do. There's some people, you never know them. Things you think they wouldn't do, girl, they will do, have done, and you may not even know about it. By the time you find out about A, B, and C, girl, he all the way on Z. It's so much in between you have not even learned about. And sometimes you'll find out after you guys break up, like, what? <laughs> I'm so like, what? You really were a scumbag. <laughs> so, uh, in the Shanti's case, I'm going to tell you what I would have done. I'm not saying, because apparently whoever she was with, um, she wasn't that serious about him. And she didn't see a future or marriage with them. Uh, Sh uh, Nelly, we definitely know his situation broke up. But I'm a little leery because she chose to walk. He didn't, you know break up and say, you know what, I miss my, uh, the love of my life. I found out she ain't really with nobody. I'm out, y'all. Yeah, I'm sorry, but I can't continue. I can't go into my 50s being with the wrong person. Miss Jackson allegedly ended that. So, as as Ashanti's big sis, because she's only what, seven years younger than me, she can't be my daughter, but as a little sis, I would say be very concerned with that. I'm sure she asked all the questions, but I hope she paid attention to the actions of Nellie. Then you should have been having a very grown up, uh, 40 ish um, year old conversation at this point. You guys uh, are not getting to know each other again. Yes, you're getting to find out what went on differently and what type of growth was there in those 10 years. But you guys are not in being introduced to a brand new person. So we need to discuss what's different. Whatever our issue was, um, what has transpired to change that, enhance it for the betterment of me and me feeling um, confident in accepting your handbag, walking with you through life, being by your side and they can't be because we're both performers and everybody the world wants to see us together because it needs to be about what goes on behind closed doors are you still and only ashanti knows this are you still overlooking things just to save not save face because i know she has a brain right but just you don't want to be the woman, take a man back just to be able to do the nanny nanny boo boo to the other female. Okay, because she's going to get to do it back to you and then some. It's actually going to look worse. Now, if this doesn't work out, yeah, Ashanti, we're going to hate Nelly. But Ashanti, you're going to get a lot of backlash about how, I don't want to use the word stupid, right? But how um, irresponsible you were to dive right in and get pregnant with this man's child without marriage, without a ring. Um, now, okay, calm down. Everybody doesn't want to be married. Okay. If I don't believe Ashanti wants to be 
Nellie's girlfriend for the rest of her life. If she does, tell her to hit me up, tell me I'm wrong, and yeah, I'll do something, edit this video. But any beautiful, successful woman like that, truly in love with that man, don't want to just be keep caught being called his girlfriend or now his his baby mother and you going towards your 50. Don't nobody want to be nobody baby moms at 50. And I wouldn't want to be a baby mother at 40. Don't want to be a baby mother in your 20s. But it is definitely less acceptable when you have waited until you were 43 years old not to have any children. And then you turn around and end up getting pregnant from the man who there was a disappointment in that relationship and it didn't work out. And he enjoyed another woman for 10 years and came back. And yeah, I'm showing the world I'm with you. I'm not hiding. So I'm not trying to play you with nobody else because they could call my card. But am I coming back the right way? If she is not the marrying type, doesn't desire it, this works. Don't blame you. Have your kid from the man you love and rock on, rock out until it comes to its demise or it's a successful relationship and you guys will just be uh, become common law married. Okay, some people are cool with that. Not Jersey. I need a husband. I need a ring. I need rights. Okay. Um, some men like Nelly who are in a particular tax bracket has been advised from the elders um, on the scene. It's not beneficial for a man to get married. Um, it's always more in favor of the woman. I do believe marriage financially ends up being more favorable for a woman but oh well because look at what else you get when we tie our lives up with you okay we can run that list down and sometimes the money don't even amount to the aggravation and the hand held and you guys sometimes become little children grown children so please anyway but um Let's talk about you guys. What do you think? So this is my answer. I'm not in favor of spinning the block. Of course, take the whys, wins, and how longs. Um, and then how bad was the breakup? What is the person coming back to the situation with? What are they offering? What are they showing you that they did that they are doing differently? How different are the actions? How in depth and secure are the plans? Okay. And what is your expectation? Is it meeting your expectations? For the ones, um, so I'm not in favor unless, right? For the ones that are in favor and and you agree with what she did. Um, cool. Ben, Benef Benefer, right? Well, I'm not about to speak on them because I actually do not think they're going to work, but we'll talk about that on another subject. I do believe Jennifer got back into a situation where some of the issues she dealt with is very much still prevalent uh, and a part of Ben's issues. Okay. But this is about Ashanti and Nelly. Bye. All right, live it up. Let's chop it up. Let's talk about it. Coffee chat with Jersey. I am ecstatic and I want to hear because this has been going on for a minute. I haven't talked about it, been wanting to, but um, I've been having voice issues for a while. But girl, let's chop it up down in the chats. Give me some feedback because maybe it's another way to look at this thing. Bye, right, subscribe. Let's chop it up in the chat. I'll see you guys next time.